to know yesterday about the challenge of pressuring a guy like Zach Lyle who can extend play so well. He mentioned that it has to be a coordinated pass rush. What is, what is a coordinated pass rush for you? Uh, we can't get uh, undisciplined with our rush lanes. We know he likes to uh, scramble and make plays with his legs, so we can try to limit that as much as possible. How much does the the film of last year, the experience of last year, help when you when you're playing a guy yet? Uh, it helps a lot. Uh, knowing what he's going to do, already have played him, he did what he did last game, he played him. So it's basically the same thing. He's just more agile now. He don't got his knee brace. Yeah. Yeah. But what makes it difficult to send, uh, defend like out of structure, especially on play action? Like, when he gets out there, he can make plays. How do you stay disciplined as a defensive player? You just got to contain him. There's no, like, no, uh, no free rushes. You got to stick to the game plan. Uh, and, yeah, stay in rush lane. Don't let him out the pocket, basically. Jim Knowles talked about you yesterday and how you're playing all of these snaps, but you're still not up to the number of reps that everybody else is in terms of all the practice that you missed. How has that affected you? Has it affected you? Uh, I don't think it's affected me, to be honest. Uh, I'm here to play. I'm ready to play. I feel good. I'm good. Has it helped not actually having that, that many snaps or just no impact at all? Uh, I guess you could say that for not as much on my body yet, but I don't think it really affects me. Talking about a quarter like Terry, it's easy to say, keep him, keep him in the pocket, things like that. How difficult is it in practice when you get on the field? Say it again? How difficult is it in practice? It's easier to say this is what we have to do, right? But then you get out there. He can make plays. You've seen it before. How, how difficult is it to keep a guy like that where you want him to? Be? Uh, you know, he's a great athlete, so he's gonna he's gonna make plays regardless. We just gotta try to limit them as much as we can. How do you feel like you've played the first four games of this season compared to your previous years at Ohio State? Uh, I think I did more because I've had more reps, but I honestly don't think I'm nowhere near where I should be because you know my knee and all that. What did you do to earn more reps, do you think? Why are they playing you more? Uh, I think I'm just showing it in practice. Um, yeah, showing it in practice, uh, getting the trust of the coaches. How close did you feel to having the interception? Uh, uh, I thought I was going to catch it, but it was just bad hands. I had a lot of tape on my gloves, but still a PPU. Is that fun to drop into coverage like that on that? Yeah, it's definitely fun. It's different. You know, you're not hitting somebody every play, but it was kind of fun. To do. How much have you done that? How much have you done that over your career? Uh, we work on it here and there. What, what did you think of that call in that moment? Uh, I think it was a great call. It obviously uh, caught them off guard, so forced them into a bad pass. I just got to catch it. Did you work on the money machine at all? No, nah, I need to. I need to get on there with Marv or some one of the receivers. Come on, man. You're a defensive tackle. <laughs> no, defensive tackles aren't supposed to catch that, right? It's still a great play. I mean, it hit my hands, but I got to catch it. Tug, do you feel like a that of breakout game for Mike Ball is coming soon? Uh, and just what's it like working with him right now on the defensive line? What do you see? Uh, Mike is still the same Mike. You know, Pete teams know, know what he can do now, so they're flying to him, uh, you know, double teaming every, every play, so. Production is going to go down when they're keying you already. Yeah. And then on that last play against Notre Dame, they still had one second left. You were in the mix there uh, when they were trying to do that lateral situation. Um, walk us through maybe that play and what we were seeing there. Or were you all right on that play too? Because it seemed like you might have gotten kicked up. Yeah, I was good. Uh, we knew it was going to be like a lateral situation. It was like 60 yards away from the end zone. So we just had to get him on the ground. And I basically just rolled over. I was just tired. So I just laid down. I'm glad we won.